this week's Ask Dr. Dury actually comes uh, in response to a question uh, from several patients, and this is a recurring question, but I think it is important enough that uh, I need to answer it again uh, as clearly as I can. The question is, can bone disease uh, progress or persist even although all of the other myeloma lab tests look good? And the answer to this question is unfortunately yes. Uh, even although the myeloma ha has responded very, very well to treatment, it may be that a little bit of myeloma has remained and it could be persisting in bone or maybe even increasing slightly in one area of bone. And so for patients who have had bone disease as an important part of their myeloma at the, at the beginning, uh, at the point of diagnosis, it is indeed extremely important to keep track of the bone disease. Now, bone disease can be assessed in a variety of ways, uh, simply with x-rays, and if there are lesions on x-rays, that's uh, a, a, an easy way to check. But sometimes a CT scan is required, and these days we will often do a very sensitive whole body CT. In addition, for the spine and pelvis, we may do an MRI. Or uh, what can be extremely helpful, if feasible, uh, cost-wise and logistic-wise, is to do a whole body PET CT. This has the advantage of showing where the lesions are uh, on, the, on the CT and whether the disease is active on the PET part of the, of the CT where there is sugar uptake uh, from the injection uh, at the site of any active myeloma lesion. And so it's important to realize that myeloma lesions which are uh, produced at the beginning, uh, they don't really heal up. There, there continue to be some small holes in the bone. Uh, and so on x-ray, you may continue to see those lesions. Uh, those lesions uh, may be shown to heal on MRI, but healing on MRI occurs very slowly. So even after six or nine months, even although the myeloma is responding to treatment, it may not be so obvious on an MRI. And so really, the only way to tell if bone disease is continuing to be active is using a PET CT to see if the area is continuing to take up sugar and so uh, have evidence of being active disease. And so the bottom line to this question is, even although the myeloma protein uh, in the blood or the urine uh, uh, can be monitored and should be monitored and may be responding very nicely with reduced levels, it's still extremely important to check on the x-rays and scans of the uh, bone to see if anything uh, additional is occurring with that part of the myeloma that may not have fully responded uh, to the treatment. And so the bottom line is that Yes, there can be new disease, even if the, all, all of the other uh, myeloma tests are, are looking good. And so it's crucial to be aware of that and work with your doctor to get the best uh, comparison scans or x-rays so that you can see uh, if the bone lesions are, are healing or uh, if possibly there is a little bit of myeloma left. This is important because depending upon the results, it may be that there is a change in treatment required or maybe even some new treatment is necessary to get rid of that disease which has been left and is affecting the bones.